Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, general love reading uh, for the zodiac sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 2021. Will my ex return? So these are the Aquarians that are currently entertaining the idea of reconciling with an ex, or an ex wanting to reconcile with you, or both of you are entertaining the idea of reconciling. So uh, we're going to take a look at your current mutual energies. Uh, just so you know, uh, even though I'm checking on the current mutual energies, you can apply this to your own unique situation where you're feeling about this way uh, regarding a reconciliation towards your ex or the other person, or that you, you're both feeling this mutually. So like I said, apply this to your own unique situation, and then uh, we will take a look to see uh, what caused the separation between you two. If it happened recently or if it happened in the past and uh we'll finish off the read to see if there's going to be reconciliation between you two uh before we get started if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when a new video is post uh give this video a thumbs up like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this um share this uh, video with someone if you feel like there's someone uh, out there that you know that needs to hear this and uh leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me the link is in the description box below all right aquarius let's get started uh tell me about the mutual energies between uh aquarius and their ex what are the current mutual energies between Aquarius and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 2021. So we have the moon on the bottom of the deck, so Cancer, uh, Pisces energy could be dealing with a water sign here. You might have that in your chart. It seems like someone here is hiding their emotions here, not really expressing it. I feel like since you guys have been apart, we do have someone here. That, uh, we do have someone here where, you know, their feelings towards this relationship towards you has never really changed. So like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. We do have one person that's coming up that's feeling this way. The other person could be feeling this way or both of you could be mutually feeling this way, okay? Let's see, uh, Five of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. So could be dealing with another Aquarius here, perhaps another air sign, Gemini, uh, Libra, Four of Pentacles here. Uh, I know that this is like a love reading, but I feel like we have someone here that might be struggling financially. Uh, there's the energy of someone here counting their every penny, nickels, dimes, quarters. I do feel like someone here might be out of a job. Uh, we have the seven of wands here. Judgment, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy. You could have that in your chart. Could be dealing with someone that has that in your chart. And then we have the Knight of Cups here. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So it seems like we have someone here that might be coming in with an apology here. Coming in, coming in with some sort of reconciliation. I do feel like someone here might be spying on someone to see how someone here is doing. But I feel like we have one person in particular, like I said, it either could be you or the other person, or perhaps mutually you two are feeling this way, that there's an energy of not wanting to let go of this connection here. Uh, that, like I said, I feel like there's this energy of someone here not expressing their emotions since you guys have been apart. Um, you know, someone's feelings towards you and this relationship has not changed. All right, let's see. Why is this five of pentacles here? 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 Ten of Pentacles 
here. So there could be an energy of someone here wanting to invest in this, both of you. There could be this energy of wondering whether this is going to work out. There is stress and anxiety surrounding this. Seems like it could be a past thing here. Secrets, lies here. All right, let's see. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? We have the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Why is this Page of Swords here? We have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. I just feel like, I just feel like since this separation happened, I feel like we have someone here that hasn't been able to sort of focus on their work. I, I, I feel like that's what caused uh, a situation where maybe someone here was let go of their work here. Why is this Four of Pentacles here? Four of Pentacles and a Knight of Swords. So more air energy here coming up. Why is this Seven of Wands here? Seven of Wands in the Strength card. I feel like someone here wants to fight for this connection very badly. I feel like someone here feels very strongly about this connection. Um, like I said, there's an energy where I feel like, uh, you know, someone's feelings towards you in the relationship has not changed. Why is this uh, um, judgment card here? Judgment in a nine of wands. Why is this knight of cups here? So I'm feeling like there could be an energy where someone here has come to you for multiple reconciliations, but I feel like this person was blocked out or pushed away. We have the king of cups here. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Aquarius energy with the star. Like I said, you could be dealing with Aquarius here. Um, we could have had a situation where someone here might have juggling, but might have been juggling here. Might have been self-indulging here. But let's just take a look and see what else is going on here. All right, what happened uh, between uh, Aquarius and their ex recently or in the past that caused a separation between Aquarius and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 2021. priestess on the bottom of the deck it seems like maybe there were secrets here it seems like one person could be both of you guys really have a hard time expressing your deep emotions here towards someone uh seven of pentacles six of swords it, it seems like there's an energy of someone that just didn't want to wait around for things to get to ten of pentacles because i feel like it took forever yeah, I just feel like there was a lot of waiting around. We have the Fool here, so Aries energy could also be Aquarius. So it seems like maybe someone here was non-committal here too. Yeah, the world. It seems like someone here just went off, ended things here. Um, we have the Lovers here, Gemini energy. Could be dealing with the Gemini. And then we have the Seven of Cups. I feel like there was a lot of confusion surrounding this connection. Because I feel like someone here didn't know who to choose. I do feel like there was a lot of blockages in communication here. Could have had a long history with this person. Maybe an ex was involved in the situation. Yeah. So. Let me just take a look here. So we have a king of cups to a queen of cups here. That's a true pair. See what else we have here. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Why is the seven of pentacles here? Why is the seven of pentacles here?
Seven of Pentacles here, Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. I mean, you could have been dealing with someone here that was younger than you. Maybe with this Page of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles here, someone that made a lot of promises that they didn't keep. You were waiting around for these promises to come around, but it just never happened. And someone here, perhaps you left. This person could have left too because maybe you're pressing this person for, you know, these promises and they couldn't deliver. And, you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes what people can't give, they just end up leaving or, or just, you know, it's a too much for them to take on that, you know, they messed up or something like that. Like I said, you could be dealing with someone who is emotionally immature, low emotional intelligence. Uh, we have the Hermit here. So Virgo energy could have been dealing with the Virgo. Might have Virgo on your chart. Why is the Fool here? We have the Fool in Temperance. I mean, we have someone here that went off and sort of like sought healing on their own. I mean, both of you could have done that, but I feel like one person in particular, since the separation happened, someone here has not been able to focus on anything else but you. And I feel like that's why someone here perhaps lost their job. Like I said, I feel like someone here is struggling with money. Uh, the world and the five of swords. Why is the lovers here? The lovers and the devil card so this is like a toxic situation i feel like over time the more muddied the situation got the more toxic this relation became relationship became because i just feel like there was just a lot of games going on here just a lot of confusion a lot of toxicity a lot of imbalance here why is this uh, seven of cups here seven of cups and the six of cups We have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with someone who's very manipulative. Like, I feel like you could have been dealing with someone here that was only telling you what you wanted to hear, but this person did not deliver on any of their promises. I do feel like you guys have a past life soulmate. I do feel like some of you guys, you know, maybe one of you's questioned, like, how is this a soulmate? If this so, how is it a soulmate if this is so difficult? Could be a karmic situation. Could be something that you had to learn from this connection here. A lesson that you had to learn from something that you didn't learn in a past life. Uh, Will there be reconciliation between Aquarius and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have the Nine of Cups here. We have the Magician again, Gemini energy. We have the King of Cups again. We have Temperance again. Temperance keeps coming up. We have the Five of Wands here. I mean, someone here is looking for forgiveness here, I feel. I feel like someone here is looking for, for some sort of forgiveness for perhaps juggling here. I just don't think this is gonna come back together. I mean, someone here is coming back towards you with a lot of emotions. 
they want to tell you a lot too in regards to these emotions that they've hidden from you for a very very long time uh the thing is i feel like if you guys do come back together there will be a lot of conflict a lot of conflict here I mean, with this Nine of Cups, we could have one person that could be representative of one person just feeling happy by themselves. I mean, we do have someone here that's manifesting some sort of reconciliation here. Someone here is coming with an apology, wanting forgiveness. I feel like this person still wants you to be patient with them. Patient in their personal growth and change. They want to prove to you that they've changed. Why is this Nine of Cups here? Nine of Cups and the Four of Swords. I mean, someone here is completely at peace just being separated from someone. Why is this Magician here? We have the Magician and the Six of Wands. I mean, someone here believes that they could be very successful here with you moving forward. Why is this... King of Cups here, the King of Cups and the Two of Swords. It seems like someone here made a really, really, really bad decision here. Perhaps a poor judgment call that really hurt someone. Why is this Temperance here? Temperance in the Moon. I feel like you're, you're dealing with a masculine that just doesn't really express themselves a lot. I mean, let's see, why is this Five of Wands here? Five of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. You know, I do feel like you guys might end up sitting down and say, let's work on this together, but I feel like it's going to break out into a fight. I feel like someone here is just going to end up alone. Both of you is going to end up alone. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? The Five of Pentacles, yeah, I feel like you guys are going to give this another shot. But I feel like both of these are just going to end up very disappointed here. I do feel like we have someone here who is giving a lot to this connection. I, and I feel like just, yeah, I just feel like in the past, I feel like someone here is coming in. Yeah, I just feel like someone here made a really bad decision. I do feel like some, both of you are going to give this a shot, but both of you are going to end up very disappointed here. So uh, Aquarius, I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, bye.